Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video that will show you where your enemies' heads are. With the introduction of the new Incarnon weapons, headshots have become a lifeline of many Incarnon weapons, alternative shooting modes for weapons that can obliterate most enemies at any level. I haven't played Warframe for a long time due to school being my first priority, but now I've tried the Incarnon weapons and with this I have figured out that I have no idea where my enemies' heads are. So I started to experiment. First I looked at the enemies in the game and divided them in two groups. The ones with visible head and the ones with head somewhere else or the ones that don't have one. By each faction. And oh yeah, before I continue, with heads I mean where the shots will fill up your Incarnon weapons. Some places are weird and still fill it up. But yeah, we'll first look at the ones from the Grenier faction. The Grenier are quite well equipped with heads, usually visible at the place where they should be. Luckily for us, their use is highly limited, made for filling up Incarnon meters. This goes for every single enemy, from Lancers, Ballistas, Butchers, to Garv here, which we will leave alone. There are also many enemies with no heads, this consists of the Rollers, Drones and Sentries, no matter where you shoot them, you will not hit their head. They are a marvel of Grenier engineering, since they left out the main thing the Grenier don't use in the robot's design. But yeah, let's continue. Up next we have the faction of Corpus, which are something else. The heads of normal enemies and human crewmen are quite visible with their heads being on their shoulders, similar to standard Grenier military, but we have more to show. A MOA, a standard unit in Corpus Arsenal, has a tiny head under the turret. It is very small and hard to hit, so I suggest you don't try to fill up your Incarnon meter on their tiny heads. The MOAs you find in the Orb Valis, the slightly heavier ones, do have a slightly bigger head, under the turret as the normal MOAs, with the same thing also going for the Bursas. And the last variety, which might be a bit stupid, are Minima MOAs which funny enough can only be hit if the tiny MOA poses a bit. Truly fascinating. The next on the list are drones, ospreys and raptors. All of them have their head hidden right under the middle area. They are very small with the exclusion of raptor class drones, which has a massive head. I suggest you therefore not try to focus on these things if you try to fill your Incarnon meter, because they are highly mobile and hard to hit. Lynx and all jackal-like enemies, plus hyenas, have their head in the middle of their body, which is quite intuitive. Orbs and rachnoids, on the other hand, have their head in the big blob on top of them, so hitting them should be your top priority. They are massive targets. And now the last group of corpus enemies, the amalgams. They're a bit weird, so we will go over them one by one, by variety. Amalgam Osprey has its head where the normal Ospreys have their heads, under the plate. Amalgam Kutsumas has its head or eye in the middle of it, which you cannot miss. Oh, what the hell is it doing? Anyway, Amalgam Alconost, Machinist and Hecate have very large heads where they should be, so it is quite easy to shoot them. Amalgam Moa also has its head where the normal Moas have one, but it is still quite tiny and hard to shoot, so just destroying it is your best bet. And now the last amalgam enemy, Satyr. This one is an enigma to me. It doesn't really have a visible head, but it does have one. It is its left leg, which is quite interesting. It makes me wonder what went through the devs' heads when this was developed. But yeah, let's continue towards the infested now. Boilers have absolutely massive heads with the whole orange blobby area counting as one. Mutalist Ospreys don't have one at all, so yeah, terrible. Ancient Healers have their heads where the three tentacles are, which are unmissable. Same goes for the Undying Flyer, who can be decapitated, but shooting him in the area will still count as a headshot, but the enemy is so rare that you will never see it. Tar and Swarm Mutalist Moas have their heads at their vents, the little dots at their side, which are quite hard to hit directly, so you will have to take them out from the side. And Juggernauts don't seem to have a head, with their weak spot in the back being the place where you can recharge your Incarnon weapons. Brute Mother's head is where the glowing pink parts are, above the big mouth. Infested Crawler's and Runner's head is quite easy to spot, it is where the Corpus Helmets are, 
And lastly, the infested charger, whose head is the dog head right below the armor and above Grenier's head. I told you that Grenier heads are useless. When it comes to the infestation on Deimos, there is some more unique enemies. Therids and Juggernauts have massive heads in the middle of their bodies. It is quite intuitive, so hitting them will not be a problem. Same goes for Karnas here, with his head being where it should be, at the top. And Juggalos as well, big, massive head at the top. Diploids have their head on the top of them, like where the massive volcano hair is and where they are burning seemingly. And there is this thing. Yeah, Saxons don't have heads, so just screw them. Now we'll continue to the Orokin Corrupted enemies. They are a combination of all other factions, so I will only show you the one that is a bit more unique, and that is the Orokin Drone, which does not have a head. Absolutely terrible design on the Orokin part. And now, let's go over the Sentient faction, which is absolutely abominable. Battalists have their tiny heads on top of their body. They are extremely hard to shoot, so avoid them. Aerialists have their head in the middle of their body. Yes, they are bigger, but you do have to destroy the canisters that guard them before you can fill up your Incarnon meter, so don't do that. Similists, Mimics, Councilists and Coralists have their heads in the same place as Battalists, at the top. But these things, Brachiolists, have their heads below the little disc thing, so it is extremely hard to shoot it. Symbolists have their head on the right shoulder, which is weird, but hell, I'm not a sentient engineer. It just is what it is. And now the last two of the sentient enemies. The Ortholist has no weak spot, it just doesn't, so don't even bother with it. But on the contrary, the Vomvalists are just a massive head, which means they are the true masterminds behind the sentient operations. Just look how huge they are. But yeah, with this I'm ending this video. I know I skipped some enemies like the Desert Skate or Tomb Golem and the whole Narmer faction, but my justification for it is that these enemies are either extremely rare, have a visible head, or that I have covered them in one of the previous factions. So yeah, here we go. I also want to add that making a video with all the bosses and rarer enemies included into it would be absolutely too much work for me. I try my best, but sometimes I use my head a bit and limit the content I produce to maximum effect with minimum investment. In my humble opinion, Juggalus has the best head of all enemies. It is big and, well, it, it is not round, it's squared, but it, is, it looks like he knows much, I don't know. With this, I thank you for watching, please like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe, and also have a very nice day. Bye, guys.